All right, let's talk about the this track we call Little Billy, and um, it's in the scene where a little kid calls Sharon to tell him, her to ask her how he can get in touch with his dead grandfather, and uh, Sharon um, is very sweet and kind with the kid, and so it's got to have some like, like you know, angelic moments, you know. But then immediately after that scene, it transitions into um, you know the cops talking to each other in the in the office, so. So uh, this is a good example of doing the angelic stuff and then as it's ending, trying to transition into um, what was at that point the standard stuff I was doing for the cop stuff. In the, when the cops are doing their thing, it, I'm just trying to give it a little beat to keep everything leaning forward, you know, keep the pace active and moving forward, um, but still having the jazzy bass and also not being in the way you know these this music should not be overpowering at all it is the you know it's the least important part of these scenes and so with all that being said let's listen a little bit to little billy so we have the the trademark bass going on here but it feels a little church-like it's like a hymn almost you know oh and here's these angelic uh I think in my keyboard it's called like um, choir. It's like a choir button. So each note you hit, it gives this like like a choir going. Aah. So this is what's playing rather heavy-handedly uh, in retrospect during the scene where little Billy is um, is talking to Sharon, and we get through this phone call. She tells him how to talk to his his dead grandfather. And then the big transition's about to happen. All right, the phone call ended. It's kind of ringing out, ringing out. The bass is ready to start getting a little more active. Oh, look at that. Back to the everyday happenings. <laughs> and um, I, it's, that's a synth banjo kind of doing some ex fun picking and little drums. Just keep keep things moving. If the, if the song... It, you know, again, it's it's a minor part of the scene, but if it's not in the scene, it's just uh, a little a little more drab. You know, this kind of like you know keeps us moving, keeps us dancing throughout the um, the interactions between Wolf and, and Rusty on the way to their next adventure. So, I mean, that's the kind of thing. Um, I'm, I, I guess you could like you could time it out and and uh, and do it that way but for me the best way is to just press play on the on the the movie in front of you keep keep the audio of the movie in your headphones and and just start making the music as you're um as you're recording it yeah so that's how that was done